Violence, the Buddha taught, always leads to more violence. To the slayer comes a slayer. To the conqueror comes a conqueror. He who plunders is plundered in turn. War was endemic in the Buddha's age, ravaging northeast India again and again. Although kings and their ministers sought his counsel, the Buddha offered no grand political vision. He was powerless to stop the killing and the fighting. Even the men, women, and children of his former kingdom were massacred by a marauding king, forced into pits and trampled by elephants. It was said that the Buddha received the news in silence. Hundreds of them killed. So that day, Buddha was sad. Buddha's human being, so he act like a human being. So sometimes you see, he also, you see, uh, I said they fail. He failed to perform miracle. The Buddha failed, but we, as the Buddha, fail constantly, uh, and part of our suffering is our is our failure, our recognition of our failure. Buddhism doesn't argue with reality. There will always be both the potential for awakening in any moment and the potential for incredible damage at any moment. And if we fool ourselves into thinking we're past that, we will do incredible damage. Change, the Buddha said, must come from within. The Buddha starts always with the mind and talks about the violence in the mind and says that violence in the world is a result of violence in the mind. A tree lives on its roots. If you change the root, you change the tree. Culture lives in human beings. If you change the human heart, the culture will follow. <laughs> 